Hey, thanks for joining us on today's what I consider a future collectible. This is 2020 that we're doing this video. This is a 2004 Cambio Corsa GT Coupe, right? 400 horsepower, Ferrari derived V8, transaxle in the rear, exotic, exotic. You say, wow, Tony, I had no idea that these were going to be future collectibles and they're going to go up in value. You know what? I didn't know that either. I didn't know that about lots of other cars that have come and gone that perhaps you missed along the way. I could run down a big list of cars and say, oh, shoot, I totally forgot about that one. Oh, yeah, what about this one? This, my friend, I feel that has the potential, especially this particular car. This car is 20,600 miles on it, right? 20,600 miles on it, 16 years old, right? Just a little over 1,000 miles a year this car has been driven, and it's got some great tasteful upgrades. For instance, uh, these upgraded niche wheels that are done on here, uh, this has an exhaust system on it. This has an upgraded sound system on it, so it's very modernized as well. The sound it makes is spectacular. The interior being all full leather is wonderful. And I think as we spend a little time walking around this car, and once you hear it, you're going to appreciate it. You go, wow, I had no idea. i got to figure out how to get that in my driveway. All right, so let's take a look at paint because the Maserati paint, I feel, is done just slightly above uh, a lot of other cars. I'm not sure if these are hand-painted cars. I believe they're still painted on assembly line in a hospital-like environment. I should have looked up uh, that to begin with. And the only reason I brought that up is because under these lights, it really looks great. It's Grigio Touring Metallic, as I'm sure I butchered the Italian language being uh, I'm part Italian as well. I'm probably going to get crucified for that. So Grigio Touring Metallic. If I say it in an English accent, it makes me sound much smarter, I think. All right, not many cars when you open the hood nowadays, they just are covered with a shield. You can't see the engine. Maserati did it right, man. Check out this motor in this car. It is beautiful. You got red cam covers. You got this uh, metallic coating over top of the intake manifold as well. Look at the size of this big 4.2 liter V8. The sound it makes is even better. That's why Ferrari sounds so good. You know, high RPMs, high compression, and the firing order always makes them sound so great. But having said that, one of the reasons I love this car the most is the condition of it itself. When we get inside, you're going to say, wow, this is spectacular. But under here is important too, because what you want to do is make sure you buy a car that's not been crashed or, or parts replaced and things like that. And here's some reasons why you can figure that out. For instance, when you see some of these original decals here and stampings, okay, uh, this lets you know that the car hasn't been in an accident and these panels have been replaced. Otherwise, these would no longer be here. You can't even buy those. This still has the original emissions uh, catalyst sticker on it and this cool little plastic dot. You say, Tone, a plastic dot, really? Well, the only reason I say that is because it keeps this from chipping the paint and it's a factory installed piece and it's nice. It just says, hey, man, this is totally authentic and original and they really, really have given some thought to taking care of it. All right, let's take a peek back here. So Maserati gave this some thought. They knew that people would carry golf clubs back here, so they say that golf clubs will fit in here. And what they did is they went ahead and put down in here, because the wheels and tires are way too big to put a full-size spare tire in here. These are, uh, they have an air compressor in here. It has a tool kit that comes with the car as well. This is the upgraded uh, audio system, part of that, the amp here. 500 watts, uh, powering up the whole head unit that's there. It really modernized the car, and when we get inside the car, you'll see that. It looks really, really great. But anyway, if the trunk is functional, throw a couple small bags in there. Also, this is a four-seater, so there's rear seat room for people to go uh, in the car, or you can use that for luggage or soft bags as well. I wanted to spend a second just talking about the back end of this car because the style has really held up well. The exhaust system, these are polished, right, because they're all part of that uh, tubey exhaust system. Uh, this... Maserati call out. The script has been around a really long time, but the script itself is really what Maserati is all about. It looks great. Uh, we've added that carbon fiber rear lip right there. It comes off if you don't like it. Um, no big deal, but I thought it was a nice little touch to it. Uh, the exhaust system, uh, the sound, you're going to hear that and then you'll say, oh, okay, now I get it. But it's not so much the sound at idle, it's the sound as you're moving and rolling through the gears and coming up uh, when it's in sport mode and you downshift, it automatically blips the throttle, right? The sound of it is spectacular. You sound like a professional when you're doing it, and it really, really adds a whole other aura to uh, uh, the sound element. All right, so come join me inside here. Now listen, $100,000 cars have to have some things going on that uh, other cars do not. For instance, this car has a full leather interior, meaning the seats are covered in leather, the door panels are covered in leather, the dash is covered in leather. This headline is spectacular. If you can see just the stitching alone in here that's done and this quilting effect all the way back there, the rear seats, the package shelf, the side, everything in here uh, covered in leather. 
And that's what you're, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about 8,000 RPM tech, 200 mile an hour speedometer, right? Full gauges. The interior is very modern. Check out this center stack here. It's beautiful. These are known for having sticky buttons. Uh, a lot of modern supercars had the sticky uh, button issue. All of this stuff has been replaced, and that's why it looks so good in here right now. Uh, and if you want to, and you got to jump on the phone, you can push the auto button. Or if you know what, you want to engage the car. You know, maybe you're maybe in your house, one person can drive manual transmission and one can't, and so you don't know how to do the trade-off. Well, this is the perfect car for that, where you can drive it in a manual mode like this, and then you can also, if somebody wanted to. Uh, they could drive with the paddles or they could just push auto and drive the car the way they want. This is a beautifully done upgrade to the stereo system uh, and it adds so many nice features. This has the original Auditorium 200, uh, which was the most expensive stereo system for its time. And then this takes it up to a whole other level. But I'm just telling you, quality and comfort wise, uh, it just fits so perfectly in here. All right, so when we talk about driving a single clutch transmission, a lot of people just leave their foot down and they pull the lever and the car is jerky. Well, if you drove a manual transmission car, you wouldn't keep your foot down the whole time. You'd lift your foot up, move the shifter, and put your foot back down on the gas pedal. And that's exactly how these cars are meant to be driven as well. The only difference here is you can't miss a shift, you can't over rev the car, you can't over rev the car in a downshift and it protects the car and you from damage. So as we walk through and uh, the shifting here, look how smooth we've now made it because what we do, right when we pull the lever, we lift off the gas at the same exact time we pull the lever and then we go right back on the gas. Up, down, smooth, and it sounds great, it feels good, plus you're engaged with the car. And if, you know what, if you got to jump on the phone, man, you can hit the auto button here. I'm on auto. I'm talking to my broker. The first thing I'm going to say to him is, when it hits 100, sell. When it hits 100, sell. I don't even have a broker. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But check that out. So we'll take a little drive up here one more time. We'll row through the gears. You'll see how smooth it really is when you know how to drive it. Plus, I love the fact that it affords the opportunity to be engaged in the car and not have to worry about... Uh, over revs or stall in the car it downshifts automatically if you forget to even downshift it does it for you and listen to that exhaust of this thing man it's a ferrari drive v8 six speed clutch transmission with shifts like that it's awesome smooth stops well for the nice running people. this car. Well, it sounds so good, I might. Nice and smooth, the shifts. Look at that. Up or down. Just lift up, we'll pull the lever, and we'll lift up on the gas at the same time. As soon as it makes it shift, back on the gas. All right, so we close up this video on what I consider a supercar. And you say, well, how do you know or how do you decide what is what makes a supercar? Well, first off, this car in the coupe versions are approaching $90,000 original sticker price. The convertibles were over 100, right? 400 horsepower, aluminum, Ferrari-derived V8, uh, F1-style transaxle in the rear, 180-mile-an-hour car, right? 
This car is selling uh, for a ridiculously low price now because it's at the bottom of its market. Now it's going to start to go up in value, and then you're going to say, oh, I remember the Grand National when it was this price, or I remember when you could buy a Ferrari Daytona for this price, now, or a Testarossa for this price, and now all those cars have gone up in value. This, my friends, there's a lot of high-tech technology in here, and it makes for a grand touring car that is loaded to the gills and cars today are selling for a buck and a half, two hundred thousand dollars with this kind of equipment in it. I don't know, it seems like a really, really great deal, not to mention the sound and the feel of the transmission in a sport mode with the blipping of the throttle. Something to think about. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000 We'll tell you all about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click on the like. If you don't mind, share it with your friends. I'd love to hear some Maserati stories, man. Maybe you uh, rode around one, maybe you're uh, Joe Walsh song about your Maserati really did happen to you, and that would be awesome to share that with us.